All right, this is Benita senior Jordan Lopez. He had, we think, 29 points, but he had five three-pointers in in the second quarter alone. When they only trailed by two points, when did you when did you start feeling like, hey, I, I have a good shot? When did you start feeling it tonight? Um, after every shot, I kept going in. After oh. the first one, I just, I just kept so first going. quarter early on, you felt yeah, good. Early on, that first shot, I just know it. I can tell by the first shot. I can tell. If it's so we were talking off camera. You have some friends at Glendora. You'd hit some threes, talk a little trash. What was? I was telling him he was talking trash before the game, and I told him it's your fault. I'm like, oh, I'm going off. That's your fault. <laughs> um, during that five three pointers in a row, I mean, did it just feel like everything was just perfectly in place? I was just letting it go at that point. Okay. Like, yeah. Now in this game, uh, you guys and Colony are the two favorites in league. But did you guys expect to be this um, dominant with Glendora? Um, I believe so. We came in prepared. Coach Godley prepares us the best. Okay. Does all that. So, I mean, obviously you're not a one-man show. Who are some guys, whether stat-wise or not, who are some guys that you felt really stepped up for you guys? Um, Jacob Horn, he does all the little stuff for us. Uh, Kobe, he's our best defensive player. Just out of curiosity, because I covered him in football, what is Sean Jaskrib's job on the basketball team? Uh, he's our enforcer. Okay. He brings toughness, okay. energy. Okay. Um, Hayden Dykstra is obviously their, their guy right now. What What's something you respect about his game? Um, he's relentless. He always is, he's always attacking us. Tough cover. We got okay. a lot of doubles at him all the time. What were you most happy about tonight besides the win? Um, happy. Um, all, all my teammates got involved. Okay. All our, all and, of our and, starters. And who's next? Um, Colony. Oh, on Friday? Yeah, Friday. Colony. Their place or your place? Uh, at home. Okay. okay. All right. All right, this is Glendora senior Hayden Dykstra. He had 20 points tonight, but Glendora lost by about 25 or whatever points to Benita. Um, how disappointing, I mean, I know it's just one game, one league game, but how disappointing was tonight? Well, it was, I, we would like to start off on a good note. Didn't happen. We didn't make a lot of our shots, so kind of killed us. Well, um, they had a kid who hit five threes in a row in the second. Uh, you're like, yeah, I know that. Uh, but was there anything you guys could have done differently in that stretch, or was he just in a zone? We could have gone, like, maybe box and one, just get out on him, don't let him catch. But, yeah, he was he was hitting from everywhere. He kind of killed us. Lately. So, obviously, everybody knows about, in your league, it's Colony and Benita. Uh, th those are the two teams to look out for. And then you guys are all fighting for that third playoff spot. Um Going forward, what's something that absolutely has to be better for you guys? Well, I think we got to play better defense. They scored 60-something points tonight, and that shouldn't happen. Yeah. Um, in terms of your 20-something points, um, there wasn't a whole lot of, you know, uh, there wasn't a lot. It wasn't spread that much around your team. How much do you need other guys? I'm not trying to get you to rip your, your teammates, but how important is it for you guys to get, you know, contributions from throughout the lineup? Yeah, we just need to hit our shots, I think. Okay. We just what, one for 14, <clears throat> so that killed us. What was the number one thing tonight that you were most disappointed with? Probably, Besides the loss, obviously. Probably the fact that we lost by 25. Okay. And then, you know, in every loss, there's at least something that went right. First of all, we were just talking. You guys might not have noticed it because you're disappointed, but nine seconds left in the game, and, you know, you had your reserves in. They're diving for balls, which was cool to see. What was something you were proud about tonight? Well, we had one guy, Nate, uh, Nate Van Workum. He's getting surgery this oh. Thursday or something. So this is going to be the last game. So And he got some points tonight. Really good for him to get some points in the season. I okay. was loving it. This is head coach of Glendora Basketball, Gordon Hamlow. Um, with tonight's loss to Benita, what are some of the main takeaways going forward that you guys think you're going to need to work on with this just being the first game of league? Well, we're still a young group. And so physical play is going to be an important piece that we have to work on in practice. Uh, you know, we didn't shoot very well. We were, we were 1 for 12 from 3, and that's, that's uncharacteristic. We, we usually shoot closer to 40, 45%, somewhere in there from 3. So, and, and a lot of them were good looks that we want, and they just didn't fall. Uh, on the defensive end of the floor, we did a good job for the most part with our assignments. We had a couple breakdowns and allowed a shooter, Jordan to, uh, Lopez, to get hot and see it go in. And when you start seeing it go in and you can fill it, you begin to fill it. So, but I thought I liked a lot of what we did today, and a lot of it was just poor. And you know, our uh, Austin Clark, who is our uh, the transfer from Ayala, uh, that's his second game with us, and I. I I've watched him practice and play with us for 
I don't know, three months now, and I've never seen him have as poor of a, of a shooting performance. And they were the shots that he wants and the shots that he'll make because he's a good ball player. Um, so, you know, those are things we wanted that just didn't go in the hole. Um, how important going forward do you think it is to get him more involved with the offense? Well, I think Friday it's going to be, I shouldn't even say that, because against uh, Hillcrest, he, he, he was 10 points and he shot the ball well. Tonight, it didn't, just didn't go in the hole. I think seeing the ball go in the hole would be good, big for him. Um, he, he's a, he's a well-rounded player. I mean, he, he, he dished one off that I thought he should have shot. And, you know, granted, the pass was into Hayden, who played great today, so I can't really fault him. But it's kind of one of those, take that shot. We, we know you can make it, and your teammates know you can make it. Put it in. Okay. Um, and also with Benitez, Jordan Lopez tonight, scored 28, had three fives in a row in the second. Five threes. Or five, five threes, threes in a row. Um, defensively, what do you guys think you need to clean up just based off of his performance? Well, that's one of the things that I said a little earlier. We lost him defensively, and he got to see a few of them go in. And once you start seeing them go in, you, you get a rhythm. And we let him get a rhythm, and that hurts you. Um, in addition, to Jordan's a good player. Jordan, Jordan's been with them for three years, playing a lot of minutes for three years. He's, he's a talented player. He's a kid that we wanted to keep our eye on and, and try to throw a wrench in, and it didn't happen. 